Hi, today we are going to learn a poem, Sweetest Love I Do Not Go, written by John Dunn, completely in English. To understand this poem into English is not very difficult task. The problem is that we have trained our mind to understand any piece of English work. Firstly, we translate it into Hindi, then through it we understand. It's also a good because we are very comfortable in our native language or in our mother tongue but we should not avoid english i'll use english very simple and very clear you will understand it's it very easily if you feel any difficulty then you can comment me okay so this love i do not go is a very simple poem and it's actually love poem before starting of this poem we should know something about john dunn okay john dunn is one of the greatest poets not of his time but of all time okay he is a metaphysical poet he introduces metaphysical elements in his poetry and he breaks petrarchan tradition Petrarchan tradition means Petrarch is also a poet and he uh, uses certain uh, you know uh, patterns, uh, style, manner and John Den breaks that manner and he starts new tradition, new trends in poetry. Metaphysical, meta means beyond, physical means existence which is not in existence, very uncommon, very abstract unfamiliar it is difficult to understand but in this poem he is used very simple words very simple images very simple concept it's very simple love poem john dunn was born in england uh, england uh, actually in uh, london okay and he was from roman catholic family christian had also div divided themselves in two groups okay protestant and catholic and he was from catholic and that time england was um, protestant in the hand of protestant means uh, totally anti-catholic and due to his religion he was forced to leave oxford university without getting a degree okay at the age of 42 means in uh, 1615 he accepted ordination in an anglican church ordination uh, is you know get position as a preacher and he was the greatest preacher of his time his uh, you know notable uh, works in as uh, uh, songs and uh, sonnets satires elegies sermons okay for the appreciation of poetry we should keep two things in our mind first one is the texts which are used in the particular work the content which the poetry has the second one is the structure manner style figure of a speech and grammar Sweetest Love I Do Not Go is one of the best love songs of John Dunn. It's addressed to his wife, Anne Moore. When he was going abroad, it is, uh, you know, conjugal strain of love. It shows his deep love for his beloved. It expresses that John Dunn is not only cynical or satirical, but he has also ability to capture deep love, uh, deep intention for love. Okay. The background of uh, this poem is at the very beginning uh, stanza, John then starts the poem with emotion. He uh, is going abroad and uh, his beloved heart is uh, broken and uh, she mourns for his separation he tries to convince her not to mourn 
because it's a te uh, temporary departure it's not for long time only for short period and he puts some uh, arguments and the whole poem is based on that argument and uh, uh, you know he he consoles his beloved okay so now let us start first stanza of this poem in the first stanza the poet addresses or says his beloved as sweetest love and further says that he is uh, not going abroad because he is tired of her he is fed up with her he is not going away from her in search of a better beloved than her he is still loves with her he tells the reason that one day he will die at that time his beloved will be greatly shocked from this temporary separation she will be able to face the eternal separation after death so this separation is a, a mock imitation of death and uh, and with such repeated pretensions she would be able to bear the separation after death now second stanza in the second stanza the poet tells his beloved that yesterday evening the sun had gone away from here but it has come back again he has no love he has no desire it is just mechanical work the journey which had undertaken by the sun is uh, more longer than the journey to be undertaken by the poet he tells her not to worry about his returning because he has uh, wings of love he has uh, a spur of desire he will return more swiftly as the sun because he has uh, feelings he has love he has emotion but the sun has no desire no love in third stanza he says to his beloved that man is very uh, weak very feeble man has not any power he cannot increase one hour more from his happiness even he is unable to recall one hour from his good fortune which has already passed when the misfortune falls we increase our unhappiness from our grief for example if we have any problem and we think over and over again about that problem then definitely it will increase and it will be a big uh, issue for us same as here the poet says she should not more think about our separation you face if you face the problem will be lessen you will uh, face it courageously and it will be better for you in fourth stanza at the departure of poet his beloved is weeping crying shedding tears the poet cannot tolerate the shedding tears of his beloved he says that his soul is running away from his uh, body due to his sign he calls her as uh, kind because she loves her he also calls her unkind because she sighs and due to that sighing his blood his life uh, his vitality is uh, you know uh, decaying so he calls unkind and and his beloved is best part of the poet and if beloved is in trouble then definitely the poet will be also affected so he says don't sigh don't weep because it uh, you know uh, it is 
making decay of my blood my life in fifth stanza the poet tells his beloved not to anticipate in the heart that misfortune will come upon the poet it is possible that luck may uh, side her and uh, uh, misfortune may come and her fear may true the poet tells her that our separation is same as the separation of lovers who are sleeping on the same bed but uh, are turning opposite okay our separation is for short period they are united again when they turn towards each other okay so our separation is for a very short period and true and true love physical separation is nothing if we are spiritually united will remain one and individual under any circumstances so that is you know uh, the critical appreciation of uh, this poem so it is love i do not go on uh, uh, on content basis and now let us see the appreciation on a structure basis okay in sweetest love i do not go john denny uses archaic words like g o e go and m w e many words are there okay it's very simple poem it is a lyrical poem it has a melody and uh, the words which are used here are very simple but john dunn is actually famous for using far fetched images abstract ideas vividness and uh, difficult words okay but here it's a uh, really very simple form in simple manner the style is very lucid and uh, clear and the point of view of uh, this poem is i so it is a subjective uh, poem and one place he uh, uses in one stanza unkindly kind unkindly and kind both are opposite meaning words it is actually a figure of a speech which is called oxymoron in oxymoron we use two opposite words together like uh, if i say uh, openly secret they are open and uh, secret both are you know opposite meaning words but it is oxymoron and uh, here if we talk about uh, you know images then uh, the image of sun the journey the journey of sun uh, is compare to the journey of the poet okay and uh, uh, really it's a very melodious uh, poem still if you are facing any problem to understand this video so just love i do not go i am ready to reply you you only write in comment box uh, about your problems i think it's not very difficult because lucid languages and clear thought i have used in uh, this poem and also this poem is not very complex to understand uh, if you have any question then definitely you write in comment box i'll uh, reply and if you have not subscribed okay uh, then subscribe it and you tell your friend i'll try my best to bring uh, you know interesting videos to uh, you if you want this type of video then you also reply to me uh, you make uh, more video in english definitely i'll make thanks for watching this video